Why didn't Americans want to serve as radio operators during the Vietnam War? On the internet you can find a statement that during the Vietnam War, American radio operators in combat supposedly lived only 5 seconds. This is an obvious exaggeration, but such a scarecrow did not appear out of thin air. The phrase about 5 seconds of life on the battlefield was used by American military instructors for future communicators in training centers. Many veteran radio operators recalled that it was the first thing they were told by their sergeant instructor when they began training. The increased risk for radio operators in Vietnam was due to the equipment they used. The portable radios of the time were bulky. For example, an FM radio 6, 2 kilograms, plus batteries and a cipher machine, a total of about 24 kilograms on the communicator's shoulders. But the main highlight was a huge antenna 1, 5 to 3 meters long. The whole thing made the radio operator immobile, and the protruding antenna gave away his location from afar. The radio operators became easy targets, because the control of the unit depended on them. Therefore, in battle, radio operators were a priority target for destruction. 